LSU cornerback Derek Stingley Jr. is one of those lockdown corners that every NFL team salivates about. He reminds me a lot of Jalen Ramsey when you look at his overall skill set. Now, the film didn't look so great the past couple of years, but you go back to that 2019 season for LSU, it's hard to get much better than that. So you see the top end ability. You see that man-to-man, -man, the match zone coverage he's going to be asked to play. He's capable of doing all of it, very fluid in his transitions and throughout his workouts. I suspect he'll be going off the board early in this year's draft. Kenyon Green out of Texas A&M plays the most unheralded position in the NFL. It's offensive guard, but it might be one of the most integral in both run blocking and pass blocking schemes. And I could see him translating much like Dalton Risner has to the next level with the Denver Broncos where he's thrived on their offensive line. The other thing I really like is just the physical skill set where he absolutely dominates those nose tackles, which are getting bigger and bigger. You constantly see push, getting guys pushed back two and three yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. And one of the things I love about him playing in Jimbo Fisher's system at Texas a and it is an NFL style system. They do put a lot on their offensive lineman's shoulder. So absorbing an NFL playbook will not be a problem at all for Kenyon Green. Baylor safety Jalen Petrie is a guy I really love. He's not a big safety, but boy, he can pack a punch. He's a physical player, about 5'11", uh, can play in the slot, can play in the deep middle. Uh, he can blitz, he attacks, he's good in the run game. And if that sounds like somebody, yeah, that's right. Tyron Matthew, Honey Badger, he plays a lot like him. In fact, I call him Honey Badger 2.0. This kid is going to be a star on the next level. Alabama Sean Metro reminds me a lot of Robert Woods, who made himself a lot of money in Los Angeles and now plays in Tennessee. Mechie tore his ACL, unfortunately, in that SEC title game, but he should be good to go at some point early in the NFL season. He's only 5'11", 187, but he plays much bigger than that. His 61% contested catch rate was among the best in college football last season, according to Pro Football Focus. And when he's not making tough catches, he's making defenders miss in space. He forced 20 tackles last season to be missed. Mechie also has great body control in the air, shows good hands on back shoulder throws, and is a legit yak monster in short and knock you a semi route that will turn into huge gains due to his ability to change speeds in small areas. He regularly wins on downfield routes against man coverage, even when he's not the intended target. Now, Messi will need to improve as a run blocker. He can have the occasional focus drop, but all told, he's the latest big play wide receiver to come out of Alabama, and he should have an immediate impact once he gets to the NFL. Alabama's Christian Harris has a little Sean Lee in his game. Christian Harris wakes up choosing violence. He's a true middle linebacker who fits run gaps, shows great top end speed, and is natural in his movements in space. He does a great job walling off would-be pass catchers in the middle of the field and consistently shoots gaps, pressures offensive linemen, and makes split-second decisions, with the results often being quarterback pressures or blowing up a running play before it has a chance to develop. He can play like his hair's on fire, which is a great thing. But sometimes that manifests itself as over-aggressiveness that can lead to missed tackles. But these are good problems to have. And if you want a glimpse of what Harris's NFL future might look like, just go watch his performance against Georgia in the national title game. Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here, talking running backs with Damian Pierce. Out of Florida, 5'10", 215, who compares favorably to Tony Jones Jr. of the New Orleans Saints. He's a good football player that just seems to find yards. He's got a really good nose for the yard sticks and for the end zone. Those busy, choppy feet that never stop moving, which helps him navigate through the trash rather well and has the low center of gravity that also aids in his terrific balance as a runner. But he doesn't have that consistency in pass pro that you're looking for in the feature back, and maybe that'll be something that'll come along as he gets more reps as a starter at the next level.
Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.